Designed in the 1960s and introduced into combat in the late 70s, this bullpup rifle has become a staple of the modern Frostbite Battlefield games. Many variants of the original feature through different games, but its iconic design is one sure to hit home with many a Battlefield fan. Today, ladies and gentlemen, on Through the Ages, we're looking at the Stayer Org. Just before I carry on today, I want to show you this. This is the Razor Ripsaw Capture Card, and in the background there you can see the Razor Wildcat Controller. Now, these were sent to me by Razor recently, so thank you very much for that. They've done me an awesome favour. Episode 10 of Through the Ages is not far away, and I want to do a special episode, and I'm definitely going to need a capture card for it. I'm going to need to go and play on a console. I'm not going to tell you what weapon it is, but hopefully you can figure it out. There's a link in the description to these Razor products, so if you want to go and check them out, go click that link. The AUG, or the AUG, or to give it its real name, the Universal Army Rifle, is of Austrian origin and was designed by Steyr Daimler Puch in the late 1960s and was built to be easily modifiable with a wide range of barrels so that it could fit into different combat situations. It's used by a lot of armed forces around the world, most notable in its home country by the Austrian Bundeswehr. And with Bad Company 2, where we start today, we're looking at the original variant, the STG-77. The AUG is unlocked fourth in the ranks of assault rifles in Bad Company 2, needing 20,000 XP gained to get access to it. It comes with a 30 round magazine, a low rate of fire and good damage at close range. The rifle's iron sights are some of the most cluttered in the game, rendering the rifle near useless at long ranges, so sticking that 4 times optic on there for longer range engagement is a definite must. For a bullpup, the rifle in-game has rather sporadic recoil, meaning its choice alongside other rifles was rather low in this game. The recoil made the rifle hard to use at longer range and almost made tap firing a formality. A 700 round rate of fire meant close range targets could be dispatched with ease, but there weren't many more qualities that really stood out for the AUG in Bad Company 2. It was an average rifle that usually got overlooked in favour of something more deadly like the AN-94. You can see in the footage that I'm showing you in the background with that 4 times optic that even at long ranges to try and control the recoil it can be very very difficult so I'm not surprised this weapon wasn't the most popular here. Having spoken to a couple of the developers about the AUG and its inclusion in Battlefield they gave me a slightly strange answer, but one that does actually make sense when you start to think about it. They said that it looks like an evil assault rifle, and mainly the reason it was included was because of its appearance in the Die Hard films. Battlefield 3 now, and the AUG transitioned from the STG-77 variant to the A3, and it came with the Close Quarters expansion, the first of the premium package in Battlefield 3. To unlock it, you needed to attempt the Shepherd assignment, needing 10 squad revives and 30 kills with assault rifles to complete it. The weapon fills the bullpup role much better than what it did in Bad Company 2 here. It offers a low, flat recoil, but pulling a little more to the right overall. Pair that with a continued 700 round rate of fire from the previous game, and you've got an extremely accurate rifle for medium to long range combat. Not only that as well, but it has the fastest bullet velocity of any weapon. Not just assault rifles, but any weapon in the game. That makes the AUG extremely difficult to beat when returning fire at longer ranges. It certainly became a popular weapon beyond its inclusion in the Close Quarters DLC, which is basically the direct opposite environment that you'd want to use this thing in. Maps like Bandar Desert and Death Valley from the Armored Kill DLC suited the AUG much better, giving you those lines of sight that you wanted. Again though, the rifle featured horrible iron sights, so you might want to switch those out ASAP. 
Moving on to Battlefield 4 now, and the AUG stays with the A3 variant here. And like many other weapons moving from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4, the weapon plays a very similar role. It was the third to last rifle to be unlocked in the Assault class, needing a total of 48,000 Assault XP to unlock. Offering a middling rate of fire, low recoil and fast bullet velocity, the bullpup offered players an excellent base to work from for those long range targets. Iron sights again aren't great and switching to something like the ACOG scope will definitely help narrowing in on those long range targets. In Battlefield 4 though, DICE introduced a new statistic that would affect the bullet drop, where the value might change from the standard 9.81 meters a second squared, that's the rate of gravity acting on an object. Here, the AUG had the higher value of 15 meters per second squared. That means you need to compensate for bullet drop a little bit more than you would with other weapons, and that meant long range targets actually became a little bit harder to hit because the bullets would drop faster. The reason I think this was added was to balance the weapon. It was an extremely good weapon at longer ranges, but you need to give it some negatives and some positives, and in this game there aren't many negatives of the weapon, so having a slightly faster bullet drop overall, making it harder to hit those longer range targets, skill players should still be able to do it, but it does definitely balance the weapon a little bit more. Something that you might not expect, however, especially if a weapon is really good at long range, the AUG has a very tight hip fire spread, which is made even better with the introduction of a laser sight, and that offers very good hip fire in close quarters. But where it fails is the rate of fire, 700 rounds a minute. With weapons like the FAMAS and the AEK, they're going to beat that out of the park really, really easily. But from my experience, the AUG never really got as much attention in Battlefield 4 as it did in Battlefield 3, which is a shame, as it's a very accomplished and well-rounded rifle for medium to long-range combat. So really, life for the AUG in the franchise reached its peak in Battlefield 3, mainly due to its closer representation to what the weapon actually performs like in real life. Bad Company 2's recoil let it down, and in Battlefield 4, although similar, to Battlefield 3, the bullet drop definitely decreases its effectiveness. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your suggestions for the next weapon to appear on Through the Ages down in the comments, and while you're there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.